If you want to learn how to convert your QNAP radar and sonar installs that are based on a mono framework to container station using Docker, then watch this video. Hey, Gary Cruz with GaryCruz.com here, and I'm going through the process of converting my radar and sonar installs to container station using Docker. I'm currently using the QNAP club store installs for radar and sonar, and this is based off the QMono or Mono framework. And I've set this up a few years ago. But I haven't, now that I'm getting these errors, which is the digital signature has expired, I'm now exploring what I need to do to move it over to Container Station and remove the fact that I need this mono framework. So they're all self-contained. So I already went through the process with Radar and I'm gonna go do that with Sonar. But let's go ahead and start with the basics. If you're doing this same process, I haven't seen a lot of information on YouTube on how to set this up, so I'm I'm creating this video. The first thing you want to do is get Container Station, and you can find that in the App Center. So if we go to the App Center and you go to All Apps, do a search for Container Station and get that installed. Once you have Container Station installed, open it. And you'll get this message that this LXC and a support notification. I'm not using LXC. And if you're not using it, just go ahead and click don't show this message again. I deleted my radar install that was based off the front mono framework. But let's go ahead and just take a look at the settings. And then when we set up radar, it's going to be very similar. So one of the big issues I had is all my files are in a separate or all my movies and TV shows are on a separate volume called Plex. And you'll see that I have a folder called Media. And within there, I have movies and TV shows. Uh, I just recently made this called Data. Because right now, if you open up NZV, let's go to My Apps, NZV Get. And I switch this. Your path may look different, but I had to get this path of this volume so that it matches because I was getting an error. So before it looked something like this, like that, right? I switched it to get my directory. Now, if you don't know what your directory is, one of the apps, let's say for example, Sonar will give you an idea what shares you have. So what I did is I went to system and then I know that my Plex data is under this share. So I copied that. And also the, le the next step that I did was also create folders, uh, shared folders. And if you don't know how to do that, just go to the control panel, go to share folders and create something called data and put it in the volume that you want. Right there, I have it in my Plex volume. And so then I made that available. So under the properties, this is what I have for my data folder. And then if I take a look at the shared permissions, these are the permissions that I have. So the administrators, myself, and the admin have read write. Under that directory called data, I created these folders, completed, downloads, and intermediate. And that coincides with NZB get. So if we take a look at NZB get, that's where I have downloads, completed, and intermediate. So make sure that matches. All right, so let's go back to Container Station and take a, take a look at Radar. And when you set it up, go to Settings, and you go to Advanced. And I left everything at default when I was setting this up, but I created a shared folder that is on this particular path. And I also made it the same. So you can see here I've got movies and then you'll see I have share media movies and that's called slash movies. But it was I was getting an error that it was looking for this particular directory from NZB get and couldn't find it. So I just went ahead and defined that. We will do the same for sonar. 
One thing I haven't quite figured out is I'm getting this error where it's looking for this particular port. It doesn't really matter because when I get loaded, it still loads correctly. But in the future, maybe what I'll do is instead of having automatic port, I'll just go ahead and define it for sonar when I get that set up. So let's go ahead and get that started. So the first thing you want to do is click on create. And what I did for radar is look for radar and did a search. And you'll see that I have one here and you click on install and that's where you set the parameters. But I'm going to, let's do it for a sonar. It's going to be very similar. So sonar, we'll do search. Sonar is not importing my episodes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and stop, remove this and start over again. I did a backup of sonar and I'm going to go ahead and remove this container and create a new one. And hopefully this works. So click on remove. Create, look for a sonar. Search. We're going to click on install. Over here, it's a we'll the minus one. And let's see. Go. If you look at the CPU limit, we'll keep those at default and go under the advanced settings. And we'll go over the network. We'll leave that the same device. I'm going to run this in privileged mode. We'll see what that does. Hopefully that helps. And we're going to remove this config. And we're going to add that here. So under data, I created one called config for sonar. And then I'll put that slash config. Let's also add my other paths here. So let's go ahead and add the Path. Uh, let's do the TV shows. Let's see, what is that? Media, okay. So media slash TV shows and that one. Let's also add completed TV. And that's as that's going to be as part of the data and completed. Oh, that's what it is. We were looking for series. That's why I can't find it. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just double check here and go to paths and completed. I want to put the same and then under the environment, I don't think we need to run as privileged either. So let's remove that shared folders. So let's go ahead and click on create, review that, click on okay. And it completed already. Let's get to see if it started. Yeah, it's starting, started a web server. Let's jump into sonar. Okay, what's nice is that it grabbed the images from the config. And let's also, let's just double check the settings here. Oh, and since all the config is already in that folder, it grabbed that too. Cool. All right. So let's test if it's going to pull Halo down. Halo. And it looks like it's actually working. Waiting to import. Okay, so now it's waiting to import. And that's the key thing is to make sure that the directories are the same. So now let's go over to settings here, go to libraries, TV shows, and let's scan library files. Go back to my TV shows. And boom, there it is. All right, it's working. I went ahead and tested the download, which is working. Let's close this out. And now I think it's safe for me to delete the old version of Sonar. So I'm going to remove that. 
And I'm also going to delete the model framework. Remove. Because that was required for the standalone version of sonar and radar to work now. Now that I have it in my in the container station, it's all self-contained and doesn't need that. And it's all up to date. Now what I might do is even try to get NZB get. Let's try that. But I'll do that in another video. The point of this video is to replace the standalone versions of sonar and radar with the container station. And I've got that all running now under two dockers or two containers within Docker. I'm no expert when it comes to container station, but I really wanted to get this to work. The key things here is to match the directory paths. Always double check the paths that you have available that you have set up in NZB get. The thing that was unique for me, at least, is I had a separate volume for where I kept all my media uh, compared to my backup files that are on my main drive. So I wanted to keep those separate. All right, so I might make another video for container station for NZB get, maybe not. You know, if this you found this helpful, definitely hit like and subscribe on the way out. Thanks for watching.